a thousand eons mine to dominate. Your new god awakens! To oblivion! <laughs> Humans, filthy humans. That's mine! Don't even try! I'll never! I'll never go back!
We haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadavata. That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermin's soul. <laughs> oh, do you feel sad, Nikita? I'm just uh, sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. There is madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions? All the way up to her last breath. She even used her last remnants of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. Yes, her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. But now, we have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Rukadabata tell us the truth in person. Are we in the air? And why is there a huge boat? That's the boat of consciousness which symbolizes reason here. Its course is the direction our consciousness is traveling towards. If we lose control... Wow! What are these? The monsters seem to have been affected by them! Judging from the current route, the boat of consciousness will soon take us out of here. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon. Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Rukadevata. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Rukadevata before? No. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. Otherwise, I think she would have given me a little more guidance, and I could have done a better job. Hey, you've done a great job, Nahida. Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her. Is this the place you were talking about? The base of Ermansoul? Well, 
this is the place. Uh, we're here to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? But the one standing over there is... Is that... Umu? She looks exactly... like me. Are you... Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes, that's me. Are you surprised by my appearance? Ermin's soul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. <laughs> We're... ...of the same nature? Why? Because you are me, and I am you. You are me in the new samsara. The new samsara? From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Oh no! How could that happen? I've experienced that pain in your consciousness. It must have been a horrible experience. Yes, but my feelings weren't important. The important thing was that... Even if I died, my existence and everything related to me would continue to exist in Ermin's soul as memories and knowledge. Meaning that the forbidden knowledge couldn't ever be permanently eradicated. And there's no way for me to eliminate myself. It would be a sort of paradox. So, I took the purest branch of Ermin's soul as my incarnation in the next samsara and left a trail of clues. All in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution from Ermin's soul forever. Wait, no, I can't. <laughs> so you realize what that implies? You are very smart indeed. Ermin's soul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And as you've realized just now, removing me from Ermin's soul means I essentially will never have existed in this world, but. This is the only way to save Ermin's soul. People love you so much and... And they've missed you so much over the past 500 years. I... I am exactly the same. So how... How can we just... Forget you like this? Is there really no other way? There must be something else I can do. You're the god of wisdom, Booer. You should know that there is no other way. But this... This is so cruel. I don't want to forget you. No need to feel so sad, Boor. As someone who delights in wisdom, you should feel joy at finally finding the answer. These are the words in their entirety. The answer you've been seeking all along. Let the world completely forget me.
We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds, were numerous smaller worlds, all of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Sumeru, may you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. <laughs>